Have you ever thought to yourself, you know what would be cool in Minecraft? Having seasons. Well, if that is you, then today you're in luck. Because we're checking out a Minecraft plugin called Advanced Seasons. Now, these seasons do change up your world aesthetically without the need of any resource pack. But also, every single season has its own few perks. Like in some seasons, crops might grow faster or animals will spawn more frequently. Stuff like that. It is really cool. And today, I'm going to show you how it all works. Do make sure to double check if you're actually subscribed to my channel. Almost 90% of my daily viewers is not actually subscribed. That is such a huge percentage. So make sure to scroll down, double check if that subscribe button is actually pressed. You would help me out so much by doing that. Also, thanks a lot to the developer of Advanced Seasons for sponsoring this video. So the first step to getting seasons in Minecraft is purchasing Advanced Seasons. There will be a link to its Spig and MC page down below. Simply go there, purchase the plugin. After that, go to the second link in the description, which will take you to Protocol Lib. It is completely free, but you do need it, so make sure to download it too. And then drag both into the plugins folder of your Minecraft server. Then after a quick restart, we're ready to go. So to activate Seasons, what we're gonna do is simply type Advanced Seasons, Add World, and then the name of the world you want to add which in my case is just going to be the overworld called world. Press enter and there we go. You can immediately see a change. The sky box has just become another color. You can see the grass has a different color. It is starting to rain all of a sudden. We also have a very cool temperature meter on top of the hold bar, which indicates the current weather, the current season, and what temperature it actually is. Now, rain on its own is not that interesting, but in spring, it just rains a crazy lot. That's what it does in spring. So it also does that in spring in Minecraft. You can also see the color of the trees is a little different. It is super well done. Now, some of Springs' key features are, for example, crops will grow faster, animals will spawn more frequently, there's an increased chance of rain, so it will start and stop to rain quite frequently. Look, there it goes again, literally two seconds later. And overall, there is a warmer weather. Now, if you want more details on what day exactly it is, you can type slash calendar. In this calendar, you can see exactly which season it is, which day of which season it is, and when the next season will start. So currently, you can see it is day one of spring, which means we got two more days of spring to go. And after that, it's going to be summer. Then it's going to be summer for three days. After that, it will be fall for three days and then winter. Now, when you hover over the book, you can also see some more information on what these seasons actually change. So seasonal weather, experience snow in the winter, rain in the fall, and sunny days in the summer. And seasons will affect the overall temperature, causing seasonal effects. Now, crops, depending on the weather, crops will grow quicker or slower. In the summer, days will be longer. And in the winter, they will be shorter. And last but not least, biomes will adapt to seasons and change the grass color, animal behavior, and growth. By using this command in-game, Advanced Seasons, Next Season, World, or whatever name your world has, we can forward to a next season. Currently, it is summer, and you can once again see everything looks different. The grass color is different. The sky box is different. The world gives an all different vibe. Now, in the summer, the grow rates of crops are at its peak. They will grow faster than in any other season. Also, the days will be longer. There will also be summer mobs. So there are mobs that will now only spawn during the summer. Also, the rainfall will be reduced, so less rain. Apples can randomly drop from oak trees, and there might sometimes be a heat wave. <laughs> but yeah, that is summer for you. I especially like how the entire vibe of the world is so different now than it was in spring. The fact that everything just changes and gives you an entire different vibe is awesome. I love that. But let's move on to the next season, shall we? By executing this command again, we will first forward the world to summer transition 1. When executing it again, it's gonna go to transition 2. When we execute it again, it's gonna go to transition 3. And after that, it is fall. So it is fall right now. And you can see the entire vibe of the world is once again different. The skybox, the grass, the color of the trees even. Everything just 
screams fall. Now, in the fall, of course, stuff is going to be a little bit different again. The leaves of the trees will have different colors. Crops grow slower, different mobs spawn, the weather is cooler, and there's, of course, an increased chance of rainfall. Because why not? It's fall. It's always raining in fall for some reason. So I would say that is a pretty accurate representation of what fall feels like. And now you can also experience that in Minecraft. I do have to say I absolutely love how much difference the grass color actually makes. Like between summer and fall that is night and day and now it is time for winter you can see snow is generating everywhere the grass color is super gray and grim it is clearly winter and your entire world will turn into a winter wonderland all the trees have different colors it just screams winter it is like you're in a winter biome but you're not this is just regular plains but in the winter it's gonna be snowing and also the river will completely freeze it literally feels like we're in some kind of snowy biome we're not it is extremely cool and now to see this all disappear again let's go to spring again there we go it is spring everything is melting snow is going away ice is fading away the color of the grass is changing again and before you know it it is just all spring again now of course when i change the seasons quickly through a command it is gonna seem almost instant but it is not these transition periods that you keep on seeing as soon as i skip to the next season those make the world change gradually so when i use this command two times then in calendar you can see it's currently spring day two and the world will slowly start to look like a summer world it is not going to be instant from one day to the other and it is just the coolest thing i really like it so we've now gone over the seasons and all the stuff it changes but honestly there is a lot more to this plugin so for example the temperature sensor that you see in game all the time it doesn't just depend on the season it also depends on your light level what you're wearing and where in the world you are if your temperature becomes too low there's a chance you'll freeze if it becomes too warm it will also have consequences so it really adds a form of realism to survivaling there is also something called a seasonal shop and it is basically a shop where you can purchase some seasonal decorative items you can purchase them all for experience so no involvement with currency just regular experience in minecraft you can buy some cool seasonal decoration depending on your season and then there's also something called seasonal events so you might have seen it in the calendar already but today it is halloween tomorrow it is nothing the day after it is christmas so those are irl holidays but then in minecraft and on each of these days something will happen for example on halloween every single player in the server will receive a pumpkin <laughs> and just like that every single holiday has its own little surprise now if you want to know more about these special features the seasonal transitions or just this plugin in general i will leave a link to this page down below all the information you could potentially be looking for is over here including how to customize stuff because pretty much every Everything here is customizable. The temperature system, you can change it up completely. Same thing goes for the events. You can even add a holiday to it. It is really cool. Anyways, that is gonna be it for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to double check if you're actually subscribed to my channel. Such a big part of you is watching my videos, but not actually subscribed. So if you could just double check if that subscribe button is actually pressed, that would help me out so much. Also, do make sure to join my Discord if you're not in there yet. It will be awesome to see you there and thank you so much to my channel members for the incredible support you guys are truly legends and then i will see you in the next one bye bye